Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, somebody had asked me to uh, show how I curl my hair, so that's what we're fixing to do today. I <clears throat> washed it last night and um, dried it, but sometimes I just don't like it the way it looks flat. Um, I have wavy hair. Well, some of it's wavy in the back you know, like that. And I don't know if that's the new gray growth coming in and then it's straight in the front. So whew, I'm tired. <laughs> I just had to bait Levi because huh, he uh, went outside and pooped all over himself. I need to get him a haircut. All right. Anyway, so um, this is what I've showed you guys this before. This is the lounge like blow dry brush and it it does a good job it really does but it helps um it flattens my hair the first day i do it it'll be a lot of volume in it but then the next day it's just like flat so um and sometimes i like to wear it like that and sometimes i just don't i won't curl in it and so um i'll just show you right from the beginning like what conditioner and what um shampoo i use I like to use the Pantene, like moisturizing and uh, the same conditioner, the Pantene conditioner as well. Sometimes I will go from that to the Dove. So yesterday, um, I just picked up this L'Oreal, is Elvive, it's a total repair. And then I got, they had these two together. I just got it at the Dollar General, but they had these two together. So. And this is just the um, Total Repair 9% Repairing Concentrate with Protein, um, but it's for damaged hair. My hair's not, well, I can't say it's not damaged because it is. If I was to, um, like, just dry it uh, and brush it while I'm drying it, it's freezy. So, anyway, that's why I use this. But anyway, I'm trying to get to a point of it all. So, we're just going to get started. But I have, I've had these curling irons forever. And um, a lot of the time, I will spray uh, dry shampoo. And this stuff stinks. It's from Dollar General. I don't like the way it smells. Uh, but sometimes I'll spray it just to get the texture. Because it's so soft and it doesn't want to hold curl. So... I also use this sometimes when I don't want to dry uh wash my hair another you know, when I want to hold out another day and it absorbs the grease and all that stuff. But it's not, it doesn't smell good, so I don't really I need to try to find some more that smells good. Anyway, let's move on. So next thing I'm gonna do, first let me show you the uh curling iron, this thing I've had for 40 years. It's the one inch Conair, just your regular curling iron. Just has the um, heat thing on it. And I turn it all the way up because that's the only way, it's so old, that that's the only way I can really keep a curl and um, or to get it to curl. And then the second one is um, a bubble wand. Uh, it's from Lange as well. I got this one a while back. I don't remember, but man, this thing is hot. It gets hot. I mean, for the minute you turn it on until you turn it off and a few minutes after that, it is really hot. And I don't know why they don't have a, like a high, medium, and a low or something on it, but they do not. This is just strictly high, but I'm not going to use that throughout my whole hair. Um, I'm just going to use it in different spots if that makes sense, because I want my curls to be kind of different because my hair is, um, and I never really meant for it to be in the shag, but it's got the shag like down here. It's got the layers that, you know, start here and then it kind of layers down. Um, and I don't even know how it got like that, but, um, you know, I'll take a pair of scissors from my hair in a hot minute. But, um, anyway, yeah, I just like my curls to be a little bit different. I want this part of my hair up a little. 
if this is even going to make sense. You guys know in the South, we like our hair big. Yeah, we do. The bigger the better. And anyway, I like for this part of it to be a little higher and then this part of it to be um, or a little curlier. And then this part of it to not be as curly. So anyway, we're going to get started. But it's very important with this thing that I use some kind of heat protectant. This Conair one is not so bad, but... <laughs> And I just use the Heritage Play It Cool Heat Protectant. I've used the, this one. I've used the one from Tresemme. I mean, I think, you know, they're all pretty good. I'm going to have to get some more because mine's like that. But, and I don't like that it gets my hair wet. But you can't have it always good, you know. But it's going to get it wet because that's, you know. This stuff smells good, too. It really does. It smells good. But, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I just spray that and uh, comb it through. Oh, my goodness. I've noticed since my hair has um, started turning gray, and there's, you know, a lot of gray. <laughs> Dogs are running around here. I got Barkley over here, and they're going crazy. Um, but anyway... Notice since it started going gray, that it's just wavy. I don't like that either. So anyway, we're gonna get started. I'm just gonna um, put my hair in halves in the back. And I'm not even gonna section it off or anything like that. I'm just gonna make sure I have all the tangles out of it because you don't want it to burn your hair with tangles in it. So, and like I said, I'm just gonna Probably not gonna do my whole head because this video would be forever long. But I'm just gonna use this one to start off with. And I just get kind of the back crown of my hair and just, now if I want some left out, then I'll do that. If I don't, then I won't. Some curls I will do that way and then some I won't. So. I would try to speed this video up, but I don't really, I can't figure that out, how to do that in my editing thing. So we're probably just gonna pretend to have a lot of it left out there. I'm not really, sometimes I like that look, sometimes not. I also have this, um, this one from Lodge, and this is the straightener, but it sucks as a straightener. It just really does. I mean, I know I've had people disagree with me on that one. For my hair, it does anyway. So, you know, say bark is scratching up a hole to get comfortable. But anyway, so I'll just take another piece. And I will do like that one. The one I just done was away from my face. And then this one I'm just going to do towards my face because if I don't and I do it all the same way it just looks really weird it looks like um like when I brush it like maybe tomorrow or even run my fingers through it then it just like one big I don't know it's funny it's one big bubble on the side of my head if that makes any sense which it probably doesn't but uh anyway yeah I just like to go different ways with it I'm just going to show you guys the different curls. Um, I guess I could, but I don't have the two plugs on there. But I was, I was thinking, I guess I could do the lounge one and show that one too. But uh, this is already going to be a lot. So this one doesn't have um, a clamp or anything. So you will burn yourself if you're not really careful with this one. So I'm just gonna get, you know, a little bit of my hair. I don't go really small pieces because I don't want it to be too curly. Um, but plus, if you do that, it does have a swivel cord, which makes it easier. But if you do get a tiny piece, I feel like that, it's hard to do this looking in the viewfinder, but I find that it will, um, <clears throat> what was I say? What's wrong with me? I got it stuck. Um, 
I forgot what I was going to say anyway. I'm sorry, y'all. It's been a busy, busy day so far. But that's stuck in the toilet paper holder. But don't touch it. If you have one of these things or you use it, you will get burned. I have a burn mark on me. I curl my hair all over with one of these. Uh, New Year's. Man, I burnt myself. I don't know how many times. But you just have the different curls. See what I'm saying? I don't like that right there. This. So, I mean, normally I'm not that picky about it. But <clears throat> I'm just going to try to get that bent out of it. I never spend this much time on my hair, for reals. I mean, I did for New Year's, but that was just a, you know, a special occasion. I don't normally do that. So we're just gonna move on, and um, I'm just gonna try, because my mirror's over here, and I'm right in front of a window, so that, because it's almost four o'clock, and I didn't wanna, you know, get my lights out and all that. I just think you can see better in natural lighting, but I'm having to use the viewfinder for my mirror. So let's see what curl. I think I'll do this one. Sometimes I don't put the ends in there because the ends, <coughs> excuse me, can get frizzy more than, you know, the rest of your hair can. So I just don't want to damage the ends anymore. These are straight up the highlights I have. Gray and brownish. <laughs> the color I used to have and then blonde. I don't know what's going on. But, uh, all right, there's that. So, and then the bang, if you will, part of it. I'm just gonna... And I have a cowlick, so... Susan wears her hair like um, in the middle, parted in the middle, but I have a cowlick, so I really can't do that. So I'm gonna use this one. And I can't put it in there for very long because like I said, this thing is hot. I'm talking about hot. So I leave a little bit out because unless you have a glove, which I'm sure it came with a glove because there's no way it wouldn't have, because as hot as this thing gets, I believe I've done it. Ooh, go see, I just broke my finger. I believe I've done a video on this one before. I'm really not sure. Um, so, that one didn't really, <laughs> I might have had too much hair in it. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter, necessarily. But like I said, you just have to be very careful with this thing. It will burn you. <laughs> you will imagine what it's doing to your hair. Okay, that's better. So, now, I'm not going to do the back or anything because that's just going to take up all y'all's time and nobody got time for that. So, like towards the bottom of it, what I'll probably do is just let me get it. It's hung up on the toilet paper roll. Jeez. So I'll probably just do a little bit of curl. Just not hold it in as long. Just kind of get a, you know, a little bit of curl. And sometimes I'll even pull it down when it cools just to make it look longer, you know. Because when you put, I'm going to do this curl this way. When you put a lot of curls in your hair, obviously, it makes it look shorter. So, and I haven't cut my hair in a long time and I don't intend to again. So, I ain't trying to make it look longer. I mean, shorter. All right. So, and see, that's just, it's curling at the ends, but it's not curling all the way up here. So it'll look longer. It doesn't really take me long at all to do it. It's just doing it. So. How you guys been? Man, it's been cold here today. Well, last, yesterday was it? Or 
day before yesterday we had the storm so bad in Florida. Man, I feel so bad for the people. It messed Panama City up. So if any of you guys are in pa Panama City, my prayers are with you. It's awful. I can't imagine. But um, we're supposed to have tornadoes here again. I don't think we had tornadoes here. We just had really bad weather. But we're supposed to have tornadoes here on Friday, which scares the mess out of me. I don't like bad weather. But, um, you know, what are you going to do? Neither does Levi. He absolutely hates it. So, anyway, just pieces that are left. I'm just going to... Oh, I see that one. It'll drive me crazy if I don't do something with it. But, anyway, and now I know that this right here, my bangs... It's going to be a crap shoot. I left that piece out. <clears throat> but my bangs can go one of two ways. Either good or atrociously bad. <laughs> so that's just the way it goes. I think I'll use this one. But it just, you just don't never know with these with my bangs or these curling things and go good like i said good now i do like to hold it up and let it so the curl will go down but it can go good one day and bad the next who knows it stays so hot see it just curls so fast and man is it ever hot all right so the bangs part of it i'm just gonna leave like a majority of the bangs in there so they won't be as curly as the rest of my hair is and I just run it down so I don't want all that I want to take it almost to the end and just do halfway well see sometimes I do halfway and sometimes I bring it up all the way just so that it can you know get that bend in it right there because I don't want it you know, in my face constantly. So it does have a little bit of a, a bend right there. And then, so there's that. So like I said, I'm not gonna do my whole head because that's just gonna take a very long time. So what I will do is just do finish with this one. And then, you know, I know I just do this one like I did this one, <laughs> it, you know, without the bangs part of it. So it's fine. And I used to wear hairspray all the time and I really don't like to use hairspray anymore because I don't want my hair um, hard and crispy. So I'll just run my fingers through it. And then if I see, and I really don't have to do anything else to it. See, there's a a bump right there but it's fine I don't mind that so if I don't like it and I see that it's you know not looking the best or I want some of the curls looser or whatever then I just get the straight iron and just do it like this it's not on so it's not going to do anything but just do it like this so that it'll be longer or not so many curls and a lot of the time that's what I do with my bangs um and probably this little piece right here that's on the ass bowl. But anyway, that's pretty much what I do. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do my whole head, but um, I got this bump right here that's in my hair that's always acting up. But anyway, there's that. And then what I might do, I can't never find decent hairspray, but I have this uh, Tresemme Extra Hold. Y'all tell me if y'all have a good hairspray that y'all like to use um, that doesn't leave your hair like overly stiff because I don't like it when it's, you know, real crunchy. <laughs> when I go outside or whatever, I mean, I want it to blow in the wind a little bit. I don't want it just to be stuck to my head. So I'll probably pull that one down and straighten it out a little bit. So anyway, y'all get the gist. Heat protectant, very important. Shampoo and conditioner products, very important. Um, the kind of tool you use. I mean, I have that one. This one, 
the Con Air that I've had for years, and, and I love it. This is my go-to. And I do have uh, somewhere around here a um, two-inch barrel, I think, and it um, it does pretty good, too, but I can't seem to find it. It's probably in a box somewhere. So, anyway, I'm just going to do this so it won't look completely crazy. I'm not going anywhere, so it doesn't really matter. Normally, I would split these two up and do like this one this way and this one this way, but I know I'm running out of time. This is already a 20-minute video. Time runs out so fast when I'm talking to you guys. So, anyway, if y'all have any tips and tricks to share for everybody, then please do leave them in the comments. I would love to hear them myself if you have a good... I mean, they say they, whoever they is, say not to use, you know, parabens or sulfates in your shampoo. I think I, I don't know if Dove has them. I think Pantene doesn't have them, but I don't notice the difference either way. And I always rinse my hair with cold water. Always. Always. It does make a difference. So, there we go. I'm going to cut this thing off before it, no, not that, this one off before it causes a fire but it doesn't have like a you know how the safety thing like this one has where it will you know you can sit it down this one doesn't have one so <laughs> you have to be careful with that one but anyway um yeah that's it that's all i do you know i would spend more time on it if uh i was going somewhere or whatever but uh then i just spray a little like i said i just don't like the way hairspray smells and I don't like the way it feels in my hair. So anyway, there's that, guys. Thank you for asking the one that uh, ones that did ask me to do it. And I appreciate you. And if you're not subscribed already, then please hit that subscribe button. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.